Assalamu alaikum. My name is Jahanzeb Qureshi. I am from Department of Space Science, University of the Punjab, Lahore. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers of ES 2020 for providing us an opportunity to share our research in this uh, prestigious and uh, scientific platform. The topic of my presentation is uh, Tropical Cyclone Tracking, a case study in Southern Arabian Sea. A cyclone in meteorology is considered as huge air mass that rotates about the center of low atmospheric pressure. Cyclones are characterized as inward spiraling winds that rotate around low pressure system. The process of the formation and intensification of cyclone is known as cyclogenesis. The development process of tropical cyclone is elaborated by tropical cyclogenesis. Tropical cyclone generate as a result of latent heat caused by substantial thunderstorms. Approximately 80 tropical cyclones form annual, annually in world's water with wind speed either equal or greater than 17 miles per second. Among them, nearly 6.5% generate in Northern Indian Ocean, Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. Structure of the tropical cyclone. As it is clear from the figure towards the right, a cyclone center, often known as the eye, here it is, eye, is an area of lowest atmospheric pressure in the region. Near the center, the pressure gradient force and the force from the Coriolis effect, they must be in approximate balance or otherwise the cyclone would collapse on itself as a result of the difference in pressure. In contrast, to low pressure system, the wind flow around high pressure systems are clock clockwise, that is anti-cyclones in the northern hemisphere. While they are counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. Dissipation and effects of tropical cyclone. A tropical cyclone can dissipate when it moves around over waters significantly below 26.5 Celsius. This will cause the storm to lose its tropical characteristics, such as a warm core with thunderstorms near the center and become a remnant low pressure area. This dissipation mechanism is most common in the Northern Pacific. Weakening or dissipation can occur if it experiences vertical wind shear, causing the convection in the heat engine to move away from the center. And this normally ceases the development of a tropical cyclone. Tropical cyclone at sea causes large water waves, heavy rain, flood, and high winds, while on land, strong winds can damage or destroy vehicles, buildings, bridges, etc. An increase in the sea level due to cyclone typically has a worse effect, historically resulting in 90% of the tropical cyclone deaths. For the past two centuries, the tropical cyclones have been responsible for the death of about 1.9 million people worldwide. The study area, the study area in our investigation is the Arabian Sea, a region of northern Indian Ocean bounded by bounded on the north by Pakistan and Iran, on the west by the Gulf of Aden, and the Arabian Peninsula on the southeast by Lake of Sea. On the southwest, by Somali Sea and on the east by India. The Arabian Sea has been crossed by many important marine trade routes. Major seaports include the port of Karachi, port Qasim, the Gawadar port in Pakistan and Chahabar port in Iran. The Arabian Sea, it has a monsoon climate. Minimum air temperature of about, uh, uh, minimum temperature about 24 to 25 Celsius at the sea surface occur in the central Arabian Sea in January and February. While temperature greater than 28 Celsius, they occur both in June and November. Materials and methods. For the purpose of our investigation, we use different types of data that were used for tropical cyclone extent for the year 2018. It included the satellite data from a Chinese satellite, meteorological satellite, Fangine 2G. We use the vector data as well. For a current research, the Fangine satellite, that is the Chinese meteorological satellite, satellite images were used from Pakistan Meteorological Department, Lahore, for the dates 4th October 2018 till 7th, 17th October 2018. Meteorological satellites also play an important role in oceanography, agriculture, 
forestry, hydrology, aviation, navigation, environmental protection, and national defense as well. ArcGIS software version 10.5 was used for the ongoing study in which we perform georeferencing, digitization, area cal calculation, while Google Earth Pro was used for the study area specification. Now, this is how we perform. These are the steps for digitization. This is a satellite image for Fangine from Fangine Meteorological Satellite for the date 4th October. This is a shape file of uh, the tropical cyclone. And this is how we calculated its aerial extent in square kilometers. That was 300890 square kilometer for the date 4th October. Likewise, we performed the same process for the dates 5th October, 6th October, 7th October, 8th October, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. You can see these are the shape files of the uh, tropical cyclone. And this is what we calculated the aerial extent in square kilometers. 13th October, 14th October, 15th, 16th October, and finally for 17th October 2018. On 17th, you can see that the aerial extent of tropical cyclone has dissipated. It has gone far less and down just to 10364 square kilometers. Zewels and discussions. The focus of our own gang study, they showed the cyclone originated from East Pacific Ocean, above five degrees north. Above equator, it took Corrales force. And then it moved westward, entering the Bay of Bengal. The cyclone afterwards moved over southern Indian coast, where it initially got weakened and then got intensified over southern Arabian Sea. It was due to the presence of water vapors that provided kinetic energy for the tropical cyclone. Water vapors condensed, released latent heat of condensation, which energized the cyclone. Cyclones normally rarely occur in the Arabian Sea, but the basin can produce strong tropical cyclones. However, storms typically do not reach a high intensity in the Arabian Sea due to dry air coming from the desert of the Arabian Peninsula and unfavorable wind shear from the monsoon. The cycle of tropical cyclone was observed during the period 4th October 2018 till 17th October 2018. During the study, the shape, the change in the shape and aerial coverage of the cyclone was observed. The speed of the cyclone during its movement was also cal calculated that was connected with upper air divergence. The growth and decay of cyclone in the Arabian Sea was observed during the month of October 2018 from developing to dissipating stage. The cyclone moved from west coast of southern India up to the east coast of Yemen. We have observed the cyclone path, plotted the cyclone track, measured the length of cyclone from one point to another point, one day to another. The variation in track and kink and it is connected with the presence of uh, upper air westerlies. <clears throat> this is a map of cyclone in uh, track in the Arabian Sea. You can see it's moving, the cyclone is moving from one day to another day, one day to another. And this is uh, the map of cyclone track with the shape file. You can see cyclone moving one day to another date. This table, it shows uh, the dates, uh, the cyclone stage uh, that is initial, developing, developed, intensified, the aerial coverage of the cyclone in square kilometer, the coordinates, the travel length of the cyclone from one day to another date, like 388 kilometer travel from 4th October to 5th October 2018. And this is the speed of the cyclone in kilometer per hour. And this is likewise for the date still 16th October 2018. This is the map of cyclone track. Again, with the base map, you can see the, ma uh, the cyclone traveling from one date to another date, one point to another point. This is how it is going on. <clears throat> this graph, it shows the length of cyclone for the uh, for a time period. For example, on 5th October 2018, the cyclone length was approximately 400 kilometers, like what it has been given uh, till 17th October 2018. Conclusions. In this research, we have attempted to understand the behavior 
and the pattern of tropical cyclone in southern arabian sea while moving westward under the influence of easterly jet and its speed and direction vary under the influence of westerly waves and that is why it has shown a northward kink the intensity of cyclone got weakened and increased in presence and the absence of a westerly waves finally it dissipated along the yemen coast due to the loss of water vapors and hence lost its energy acknowledgements are acknowledgements we are thankful to the organizers of es 2020 as i said earlier to providing as a platform to sira research we are eagerly thankful to department of space science university of the punjab lahore for providing us the financial assistance for this conference in the end i would say to all stay safe and stay blessed thank you very much